There's been a lot of talk about the new Elvis. And of course, that other guy. There's a lot of people saying a lot of things. Of course, you gotta listen to the people that you love. But in the end, you gotta listen to yourself. So I want you to know those New York people ain't gonna change me none. I'm gonna show you what the real Elvis is like tonight. You're looking for trouble? Hey guys, today we are at Elvis Presley's Memphis and we are going to show you their new exhibit for the movie Elvis. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. First thing you see when you walk in here is clips from the movie, but a few areas you can do a photo op on. That one is really neat, the way it lights up. Like they have the red curtains like a Hollywood movie here. And when you come in the, this side, they have tons of pictures, like a collage of Elvis all through here in several cases. Let's just go look at all of them. Have some handwritten dialogue, scripts from the movie in this first case. And some ideas for some clothes in this one. Some materials. Some more items showing you how they picked out their costumes. It looks like they signed off on some of them. But look, there's some drawings of the Snowman of America League that Colonel Tom Parker was the president. Some different boards showing you how they designed Elvis's tour bus, making it look exactly like it did when Elvis used to tour the country. map calendar and whiteboard used by Baz and his team while researching here in Memphis. So there's his map that we're using to go around town in. All around this map it also shows historic Elvis landmarks that are no longer here. And up top you can see Humes High School and the Lauderdale Courts. Outfit worn by Austin Butler in the carnival scene. Tom Hanks played Colonel Parker and this is his clown face walking stick. Colonel Parker's prop papers used in the carnival scene. Some banner boards from the carnival scenes. Here's the hand painted lightning bolt worn by the young Elvis in the movie and a distressed color photocopy of the comic book, Captain Marvel. 
This is Helen Thompson's outfit that she wore as she portrayed Gladys Presley. Austin Butler's Crown Electric shirt that he had on when he was on Beale Street. There it is. And this prop heart-shaped pink note says Calm Dixie on it. Costumes wore at the revival scene, and that one was used by the young Elvis. Another one of Austin Butler's outfits. They have quite a few in this exhibit. One of Elvis's trademark outfits worn by Austin Butler in the scenes from the Lansky Brothers and when he was on the Milton Berle show. Outfit he wore when he was playing the piano. Tom Hanks outfit on the left wearing a replica of an old Elvis shirt from the 50s, and just another 50s style outfit worn by Austin Butler. And my favorite scene from the movie, Rustwood Park, when Elvis says, you're gonna see the real Elvis Presley tonight. You guys know what happened next. Even has the RCA tie. So much detail in this movie. And they also have a couple items from the actress that portrayed Priscilla Presley. And Tom Hanks' worn sweater with the snowman on it. But look at this. How they made Elvis's postcard. They put Austin Butler's and Tom Hanks' picture on it just like what Elvis used to send out. He did a good job on that. In this case, we have some Elvis merchandise that Colonel Parker was so great at marketing when Elvis first started out. I mean, if you have some of this stuff today, it's worth a lot of money. There's some Elvis Presley perfume back there. That's your Elvis doll. And in this corner, the I Hate Elvis. Great idea by Colonel Parker. This was cool how they redid Beale Street. I mean, it almost looked like you were actually on Beale Street. It was all fake. Costumes from Club Handy. Let's just see who we have. Big Mama Thornton. BB King, worn by Kelvin Harrison. There's Elvis's outfit Austin Butler wore when he was in the club. Little Richard. There's the piano back there. And sister Rosita Tharp. And the last section of the exhibit you can pretend like you're in the red carpet as you can watch them talk about the movie premiere of Elvis. Now from here on out, we're just gonna show you some pictures of stuff you've already seen. Some of them are up close. And if you stick around, you'll see us try a burger at Gladys's. So we appreciate you guys watching and hope you enjoyed this little trip around the back lot tour of the new movie, Elvis.
came in here to Gladys's to grab some lunch. I got the bacon cheeseburger with fries. That was $11. Some crispy bacon on there. Two patties. You can get all the toppings you want. What'd you get, Bobby? I got a double cheeseburger. Plenty of pickles and onions. And that was $10. And there's hardly anybody here today. Well, I wasn't gonna show eating this, but give you a side angle of this. We've done a full review of this place before. Frozen patties, decent size. Loaded it up with a lot of onions on there. Let's go in right here. I like that you can pick your own toppings, put on what you want. So I loaded mine up with plenty of onions and pickles. Um, I already taken a bite of mine. I thought it was good for a frozen burger. And the fries were nice and warm. Got some salt on them. I like those too. Guys, for being frozen, those are very good hamburgers. Mm -hmm. Very juicy. $11 here at Graceland. I guess that's not a bad price. No, and you got, got bacon on yours. Crispy bacon. It's done well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the fries did not come with it. That was two dollars extra to get the fries. That's what they kind of get you. But it is a double burger. It is. And it's and it's pretty good. Mm -hmm.